Hello guys, uh, we received this phone from one of our dealers and uh, actually they bought a LCD screen from us and uh, we sell all the LCD screens as well, iPhone, Samsung, GoPro or uh, all other parts including MacBook parts and LCD as well. If you are in New Zealand, you can buy from us. Anyway, so they bought this LCD which has got our logo on it where you can see Apple fix so they say the phone is charging but uh, there is no display so just letting you know how sometimes you know you got this wrong assumption it's charging but see here do you see it's drawing 500 milliamp so if i'm just looking at it i would say yes it's charging but uh, check it in another way <coughs> put this multimeter here remove the battery connector and just check here uh, is it in volt mode see we should get around 3.84 volt here whereas nothing so that means it's not charging maybe there is a shot which is giving that uh, 0.50500 milliamp 600 milliamp so now we are working on a dead phone it's not charging and it's not turning on not because it's charging no display but it's a dead phone so let's look at it what's the problem is so now to find out If it's turning on or not, look at the power supply. Okay, I'm going to connect this power connector here. Do you see? It's a full short, and that's the internal short. Um, input short, sorry, input short. Yeah, that's the input short. Input short usually give us. Um, it should heat up as soon as uh, we put the power in so now the next thing we will be doing is putting it under the um, thermal cam and see what we get okay okay now we have got the board under the thermal cam i will just move it here and let's see what's gonna happen what we got do you see somewhere here here or it could be somewhere at the back i think most probably that is somewhere here okay so we have to remove this plate huh yeah i think there's this somewhere here so maybe it's just this is sticker here or we have to oh come on i don't know what i see is it maybe this is heating up <laughs> look at it it's like a monkey you know see the monkey okay i will remove this plate huh So now again we put this under the thermal cam and uh, give it some power. Oh, I don't know where it's coming from. Looks like here, you know. That's good. That's not that icy. Now we will check with freeze spray, huh? Do you see I bumped this resistor while this came from here? So I will keep it aside so that if it's fixed we will put it back on huh? okay now freeze spray
That monkey is freezing now, huh? Now it's... I think I have to remove this as well. I'm not 100% sure where it's coming from, so I will remove that, this one as well. Okay, let me check if we can find any shot. Uh, this was bumped off when I was removing this, so I have got this uh, capster. So, okay, let's check the other side. Monkey side. Okay, now that's weird and uh, but anyway now what I'm gonna do I will check with the uh, isoprofile huh? that's a full shot see that somewhere here as well see it's very hard man Okay, let's check the other side quickly. Oh my god, board is hot. Okay. Okay, see that? Is it diode? Yeah, it's burning hot. Do you see? Okay, let's remove it. Okay, so we removed that uh, diode and uh, let's check now. Okay, do you see? No more short. So I have to find the same value diode, put those um, ripped off uh, one resistor and one cap. And then we will check it again if we have managed to got the display and the phone is working. Now DC power supply is not showing any short but we don't know if we put uh, another diode this star showing the short again. So the next thing I would like to check is check the both sides of diode uh, with a little bit of and damp okay so now this is do you see it's not taking any amps but if you come to the other side this is taking uh, showing full shot on this side Hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is uh, put it under thermal cam again and uh, apply some amps and see if we got on this side if we got any other component which is showing the heat. Okay, guys, uh, you missed uh, one little video when I applied the. Uh, 1.5 amps with uh, 2 volts under the thermal cam here and you know this capacitor here we had a big smoke on it so this is is actually partial this was a partial shot it was very hard to detect but it smoke came from this capacitor here as you can see this is discolored even though I was recording but uh, it was not on the desktop but anyway so and remember we, we we checked this before and there was no short on it and then I applied because on this one it was not taking any current from DC power supply this side it was taking 100 milliamps 
and then when I applied two amps here this burned out so now I will show you see now it's showing complete short so knock this off this was the problem see the crack here do you see now I don't know if it's yeah do you see that line here anyway so I'm gonna take it off now okay okay now I will show you here see it's not showing it's shorted but when you come back here there is no short either here so this is still a partial short do you see here how it is burnt anyway so I'm gonna put this diode back here and I think we knocked out one resistor from here and when I was pulling it up we there was one yet here I have all this so I will put this all back and then we will check it okay <clears throat> now it's time to check again all right here where is the power button here thank you so First of all we will check if the short is relieved which I am quite sure it is as you can see look at the DC power supply ok and now turn it on yep do you see ok let's move it and there you go it's all working fine oh sorry one thing I forget to show you uh, where is okay remember here now we've got 4.5 4.4 volt and it's charging as well and before I go look here as well do you see the charging sign okay it's taking the right amps now and charging as well all good thank you see you in next video bye